Hello everyone, today I'm going to be repairing some rocks. When I made my cement tall video and my quick creep video, there was a little bit of learning curve for me there and I ended up making several that were full of tiny little bubbles and my stash pile up here is getting pretty low. So it's time I think about repairing them. You guys suggested to me that I try spackle. So that's exactly what I'm going to do today. I'm going to give it my best shot. I've never done this before and at the end, I'll let you know my final thoughts. Right now, I'm going to go through all these baskets and pick out all the ones that need a little love. All right, let's get all our rocks together and get started. Well, it looks like I have a healthy stockpile of holy rocks. So <laughs> let's get out the spackle, read all of the directions, and really make sure we follow them. You guys, you got to read those directions. Take all your safety precautions. Do everything they tell you because you got to take care of you. Let's get started. All right, this is the sandpaper that I bought. It's more like a sponge with a fine grit sandpaper on one side and a rubbing cloth on the other. I'm hoping this will be useful to smooth that spackle out so we can paint on these stones later. All right, let's see what else I need. Reading a little bit further down on this bottle, it says I'm gonna be creating some dust and I need to be wearing a NIOSH approved face mask. Well, the respirator that I wear when doing the resin actually says, N-I-O-S-H. So I'm going to go with it and this is what I'm going to wear. Like I said, do your research and make sure you protect your lungs. I'm also going to be protecting my surface, my hands, my eyes, and everything. I've never used this product before, so I say better safe than sorry. <laughs> now I could totally lie to y'all and act like I didn't have to read the instructions printed on the lid in order to open this jar that I did. It was impossible to open. The lid says to get a screwdriver and put it between here like this and that did make it easy. So you're going to need a flathead screwdriver y'all. Let me get on my gloves and then I'm just going to grab some and start trying to smear it inside these holes. I don't know how this works but I'm just going to go with what feels right. Here we go. I have to admit this is taking a lot longer than I thought it would. I am I just keep rubbing it in there and I'm trying to get it as smooth with my hands as I can so that maybe I don't have to do a lot of sanding but it's already starting to turn white which means it's drying so I'm gonna go ahead and do the back I'm gonna just keep doing it and I don't know what's gonna happen y'all I'm just letting the crumbs fall all over the table and oh lord I don't know this is really turning into a mess well let's see where it ends up All right, I'm gonna call this stone good enough. I'm gonna get out another stone, a five and a half inch stone. It's got some pretty big holes in it. And I really think this spackle is gonna be really great for those big problem areas that you just can't paint over. So let's see how it works out on these other stones and then we're gonna get to letting this dry. 
I'm going to fast forward this quite a bit. If you want to slow it down, don't forget this is exactly how you slow it down. So I'm nearly finished with these four stones and I look at the clock and it has taken me 30 minutes. I'm going to let these dry and then we'll take a look. I'm going to use the sandpaper to see about smoothing this out. Let's see how easy or hard it is. Honestly, it's extremely easy to sand. It looks like it's going to be smooth in no time. I really thought sanding was going to be the hard part, but not so much. It looks like it's just coming right off and very smooth. That's awesome. Okay, I have all four stones sanded. I'm gonna clean up this mess. I'm gonna let these dry overnight. Let's see what they look like tomorrow. Okay, it's the next day and I am ready to give this four and a half inch stone a coat of paint so that I can paint it in my next video. Let's see how it turns out after a coat of paint. I have to admit that painting it is very satisfying. It seems very smooth. It's kind of soaking up the paint, but not too much. Um, it's actually turning out pretty well. All right, y'all, after going through this whole process, I'm thinking that spackle will probably fix any one of your stones that has holes in it from air bubbles. It really does work. I am gonna say it was pretty messy. Now, we all know I could be a little less messy, but I was being real. <laughs> anyway, it probably was a little more trouble than it's worth. Now, when it come to the big holes like that were in this five and a half inch stone, I think it's totally worth it. Maybe just use it to fill up the big holes, sand them down smooth, but when it comes to those tiny, tiny little holes that my paint just didn't cover up, maybe it's time to just use a few more coats of paint. I think it's all going to come down to personal preference. Y'all can't deny that these stones look really good. Look at this four and a half inch stone I started with, and look what it looks like now. So if you have a bunch of stones in the bottom of your stockpile that have a bunch of holes in them, now you know how to fix them. I'm going to give this one a thumbs up and say it totally works. All right, I'm going to link everything I use down in the description. I'm going to link a video at the end where I'm going to use this four and a half inch stone on my very next video. Until next time, rock on.